Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to part two of my end of 2022, beginning of 2023 book haul. So as I mentioned in part one of this video, um, this is editing Laura, and I initially filmed this with the idea that it would be one video put together. But since then, I have decided to make it as two separate videos. So welcome to part two. We're just going to jump into it now. And we are back. I am in Michigan. It is the middle of January and I have officially purchased all the books that I'm going to haul in this video. So there are significantly more books here than I expected there was going to be. Some of it is I was gifted these books for Christmas. Some of it is sales and some of it is like, hey, I recently acquired this money that was unexpected and so I I treated myself and I bought an insane amount of books. So, so you saw the Minnesota portion already, like literally three seconds ago. And now, welcome to the Michigan portion. I won, I don't even remember. I, I mysteriously found an Amazon gift card in my wallet and then at work I received a little scratch off for like good behavior and being a good employee and I actually won and so I got another Amazon gift card. So I put these together and I bought, this is so flippin' heavy, whew, the Throne of Glass series. Um, so I have the first book already, but I'm just gonna like sell it back to half price books now that I have the entire series and I have not read this series and I wanted to buy all the books in the series to do a reading vlog this year and I finally had like the enough gift cards to allow me to buy the entire series. So I just decided to buy them together rather than my initial plan of buying a couple every month until I had them all. So, I'm very happy to have this and to finally be able to do that reading vlog when I feel ready to do so. So yeah, this will be my first Sarah J Mass series and then I am hoping to, to move on to her other series afterwards. And honestly, I'm probably gonna do all of Sarah J Mass's books in reading vlogs. Like, there are always going to be specific reading vlogs of reading this Sarah J Mass series, etc. and so forth. It's always when I'm filming hauls that I'm like, oh, I gotta remember to take the sticker off the book because I hate stickers on books, but I, most of the time I do it when I buy them, but recently it's just been like so chaotic that I'm forgetting to take stickers off, so now I'm taking them all off as I film. Next we're gonna go with the books that were gifted to me in one form or another. So this first book, I, I won a raffle on uh, Instagram and so they bought me a book off of my wish list and they got me The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna and this is a World War II historical fiction. It's a chunky historical fiction. Um, and my mom actually read this and she loved it. Like she cried. So I knew that this was going to be a time going into it and I've actually read it. Um, I was gifted the book and then I read it. So look forward to that in my January wrap up. Wow, we're already halfway through January. Oops. I have this and I'm continuing on with historical fiction. It's great. I don't like how empty that shelf seems. So we're just going to put books back as I, uh, as I haul them. So these are obviously temporary shelves as I'm at my parents' house. All of these books will be coming back to Minnesota with me, obviously. So and then I was a part of a Secret Santa group chain on Instagram as well. So this next book was the book that my Secret Santa got me. Very sweet. Thank you so much, Katie. And that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This is I think the second book actually recently came out but I just remember when I heard someone talk about it I was like oh my word this is so interesting so 
I'm very happy that I have this. I love it. I'm excited to read it. So thank you. This next book. So I am part of a book club in Minnesota. We are a virtual book club. It's called the Not So YA Book Club. Basically, it's a bunch of adults who like to read YA books. <laughs> it's pretty great. I've been a part of it for a few months now. And so we also did a Secret Santa in our book club, which was a lot of fun. And so I have the book that my Secret Santa gave me. And I swear, I swear. So this was the last book I had to open because we normally have our meetings on the first Mondays of the month. And so we were going to do it we were opening our Secret Santa gifts in January, except we decided not to do it January too because it was still kind of like a holiday and people were busy. So I had to wait until January 9 to open this last book for me to haul in this video. I kid you not, like the day before and the day of, I was like, you know what would be the perfect book for them to get me? I really hope they got me this book. Like there was no reason for them to have thought about this being the book that I should get. But I was right. That book is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. I am so excited and so happy that they got me this book because like I love mythology based fantasy. It is my favorite genre of all time. I have not yet read this and I don't own it. But the second book recently came out and so it was just absolutely perfect that they got this for me. And I'm still like a newer member, so I was kind of like a little nervous, but this was perfect. It was so sweet of them. I am so happy and so excited to read this. All right, and then I have one more book that I acquired for Christmas, and this is a book that my family gave me for Christmas. They do this every Christmas and birthday. It's a whole tradition and you'll see why in a moment when I reveal it. Almost there. And this is by Farah Rochin. This is the Disney Twisted Tales for the Princess and the Frog. So the twist is what if Tiana made a deal that changed everything. So my family always gets me the Disney Twisted Tales books like for the next gift giving holiday that one has been released. So Christmas or my birthday if there's been a new one released someone always gets me this and I don't think I've put up my Disney Twisted Tales video yet so theoretically I could just like read this and add it on and then post the video so we'll see. This is what I got for Christmas and I'm so excited. I, I have all the Disney Twisted Tales books again. I own them all so that's exciting. I love it. Now we're gonna get on to the books that I bought myself. Yep. Yep. I cannot believe that I did this, but you know, it is what it is. It's what happened. So we're going to start off with, so all these books were from Barnes & Noble and Barnes & Noble has their 50% off all hardback sale at the end of December. And I had completely forgotten about it. Like the terrible, terrible reader I am. My husband actually reminded me of it. And I was like, so I asked him if I could have an advance, an advance on my January book budget to use for this sale. And he said yes, he allowed me to do it and he uh, went with me and it was the second day of the sale and it was in the evening. So it was like, I got to Barnes and Noble and there were so many empty tables, I was kind of worried, but I still managed to get some good finds. I was really nervous ripping off stickers too. They almost always come off okay but you know sometimes they just scare me so first up i got this vicious grace by emily feed this is the first book in a duology it's an italian based fantasy where our main character is uh this special person who can amplify the powers of others so she needs to find her partner the one person that she can touch and amplify their power rather than touch and kill them. And she's not having the best of luck with finding her partner. She has killed three people and the time of needing her power is drawing near. So she has to find a partner to amplify their power because these creatures are going to come and try and end the world. And this happens every like 10 years or so. Um, and so she's kind of freaking out. She needs to find 
someone that she can, you know, amplify their power to save the world. So, I, I read this book and I enjoyed it. I loved it. So, I thought, you know, this year I'm going to try and focus on purchasing books that I've already read that I enjoy and want to have on my shelves. So, I thought I'd get started with this one. Next, I have Monsters Born and Made, and this is by Tanvi Berwa, and this is a South Asian-inspired fantasy. This is, I just finished reading this, and so it follows our main character who hunts these sea creatures in order to breed them and then sell them for the glory race that they have every year. This was very Hunger Games-esque. She has a younger sister who is sick and needs medicine, but her family does not have enough money for the medicine and they're very poor. So she decides that she is going to race in the glory race with the creatures that she breeds um, in order to win the prize and gain enough money for her sister's medicine. Um, it's also very divided by class, but mostly, it's mostly two where like you have the people who come in and they're the rich ones and they're the ones who put on the glory race and then you have like the locals who are like really looked down upon and and then there's a whole subplot with rebels and everything. There's, there's a lot going on in this book, but I do want to say, um, so the cover is beautiful. I love the cover, but her naked? Look at that! So, I honestly might keep this book on my shelf naked, but for now, we're gonna not lose the cover. So, oh my word, this book has two stickers on it. Okay, we're just gonna do the next one, because I already took the stickers off the next one. And then I have a new 2023 release. It came out January 3rd. That is The Stolen Air by Holly Black. I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition because... She's beautiful, and I was thinking about the other Holly Black books that I have on my shelf, so How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories, as well as the Cruel Prince trilogy, and I was like, okay, the Cruel Prince is white, the Wicked King is uh, blue, and the Queen of Nothing is like a purpley, and I was like, okay, both How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories and Cruel Prince is white, and this book was also white, and it takes place in the same universe. So when I saw that the Barnes & Noble exclusive was black, I was like, yeah, I want to have something different of Holly Box. So I decided to get the black one. Um, I am about to start reading this. I am so excited to read this. I love the Cruel Prince trilogy. I'm really excited, so... I bought this and I'm like, I'm going to be on top of those 2023 releases this year because last year I did a terrible job catching up or like reading the 2022 releases that I was excited for. So I'm like, this year I'm going to read the, the new releases that I'm excited for. Starting with this one. This is the Bandit Queens and this is by Parini Shroff. And this is a South Asian book where this woman's husband goes missing and she's not all terribly upset about that and really most women in their villages kind of wish their husbands could go missing and then they're like wait a minute she got hers to go missing maybe she can make mine go away except our main character did not make her husband go missing he just up and disappeared she had nothing to do with it so now she needs to figure out how to make these other women's husband disappear it sounds like so much fun. I'm excited. Kind of gives me a slight Finlay Donovan vibes where it's like crime unintentional, also not her fault, but it kind of leads down a path that's going to be interesting. So I'm excited to read this one as well. Also during this sale, I got some other books that were not hardcover because they were on a different sale and I wanted them. So, going back to Miss Sarah J. Mass, if you remember, I saw the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of this book and decided that I wanted it so that when I did eventually purchase the series, I would have this cover instead of the regular cover. And so if I buy it and it's set like this, I'll just sell the original. But if I buy them individually, then I already have this one purchased. And it is not the first book in her series. Um, it's A Court of Silver Flames. This is such a flippin' chonky book. Anyway, so this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive. It is black instead of, what, silver and orange? I don't know. 
but I, I liked the black and silver better than the original cover so when I start collecting this series I have this one done this is not the first one I know that but hey I'm just happy to have it and also I'm assuming that I'm gonna love these books because of how much I'm investing in these books financially so great life and financial decisions made on my part fits there perfectly and then I got two more books because they were like buy one get one half off and I again I, I wanted them so I have The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik I have the first book which is A Deadly Education I've read the first two I haven't read the third one yet which is kind of stupid but I love this trilogy I've just really been waiting for them to come out in soft cover like the reason I didn't purchase this earlier was because it hadn't been released in paperback yet but now it obviously has so as soon as the golden enclaves is released in paperback I will be purchasing that one but oh my word I love how her main character is a language geek because she has to be but also just is I love that so much so of course I love the series and I have to own it and it's dark academia I love dark academia we'll put you up there is the bear and the nightingale and this is by Catherine Arden so this is a Russian fairy tale inspired book we have our main character whose mother dies giving birth to her and she is a like kind of magically gifted like slightly like there's the possibility of it um, and then their father goes off and marries a new woman and she is not super keen on the daughter but honestly that's not super that's what the like summary says but this book is just more about this girl who loves the woods and meets uh the the god of winter and the god of death and like how she avoids getting married off and how she like grows up in a time like this in old russia yeah there's a lot of like uh religious things with catholicism versus like gods and kind of this mythology almost of Russia and it's it was really cool so I didn't realize this was the first book in a trilogy but it is and I immediately read books two and three after reading this one as well so I do want to purchase the rest of that series and I'm very happy to have this I I don't read too much like Russian Slavic folklore books but I really want to and this was so richly steeped okay this is not a review I have this book <laughs> and I'm happy about it and now I have another stack of books that I got from Barnes & Noble because I got paid a bonus at work here in Michigan and I was like well if I have this unexpected money I might as well use it to buy books so I on this trip I was very focused on books that I'd already read as well as series like because I have so many like first book in this series that I've read the entire series and I love so I need to buy the rest of the series so that's okay, that's what I focused on here okay so like for example first up I have Legendary uh, by Stephanie Garber this is the second book in the Caraval trilogy I have Caraval. I don't have any of the other books, but I've read all of Stephanie Garber's like the uh, Caraval trilogy as well as the Once Upon a Broken Heart and the Ballad of Never After. I've read those and I kind of tell myself I can't purchase the Ballad of Never After and uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart until I finish purchasing the Caraval trilogy because that's the order I read them in and because I already have Caraval so I want to finish it. Legendary to continue with owning that series and oh, it's also just such a beautiful cover. I love them. Next one is the second book in a duology and this it took a while I think to be released in paperback and I wanted it in paperback to match the first one so I finally saw it in paperback and I was like yes this is what I need. All right and uh that is We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. Um I have the first one we Hunt the Flame. There we go. I've read them both. I enjoyed them both. So I just needed the second one to, to round out the duology. So. 
final two books I'm going to show them together because they are a duology first and second book here. I hated so much about getting these versus other books by this author but I decided to go with these and it's Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. I read them this past summer. I adore them. They are books that I would honestly read again this summer. Like, I would reread these. The banter, especially in Daughter of the Pirate King, the banter was just so good. And then the plot in the second one was so good. So, I, I've been having my eye on these and wanting to get them for a long time. I have read every single one of Trisha Levenseller's books and I have loved every single one of her books so I am also just kind of on this I'm on the prowl of purchasing all of her books so I have have Warrior of the Wild and now I have this duology so I will slowly be gaining all of them and this was just so good like, if I were to annotate the first one, it would be so full of all the amazing banter and, like, sexy but not sexy scenes. Like, oh my word. We'll just, we'll just stick in it. Those are all the books that I got here in Michigan. And then you saw all the books in Minnesota. So, yeah, I came here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine. I came here with nine books and then I got, I got 23 books in Michigan. That's also not including the fact that as I mentioned in Minnesota, I got window shopping. It, it arrived here before I did. So like I mentioned it, but here it is eight books and 24 books. That's insane. That is so much, but well, <laughs> there it is. The beginning of 2023 haul. I'm just glad that I did a fairly good job of getting new releases and books that I have already read or a series rather than like a book that I had never heard of before, but that was older. Like, I'm happy and I'm satisfied. This was a lot, so. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of the books that you're excited for this year or if you've already purchased and given yourself a mini little self-care haul to start the year off. I think it's a great idea, of course. And uh, subscribe if you are interested in bookish content. I post twice a week. And yeah, hit the bell to be notified for when those videos do go up. I have bookish social media linked down below so you can see the updates on everything as I read it. Like I said, the stolen air will be next. So keep up with me there. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.